Hey guys, and welcome to another new episode with JavaScript. Okay, now in this section, we're going to be dealing with a topic in JavaScript called functions. So in order for you to be successful in JavaScript, which is or any programming language, you're going to need to understand how to use a function. Okay, so a function is basically a means of executing code. Variables allow you to assign values to to objects and numbers in JavaScript or things basically in JavaScript but functions really allow you to execute this code so I'm gonna be very quick with you okay so let's say for example you want to be able to press a button and make something pop up on the screen there's a function for that and it is integrated within the HTML code the DOM the document object model which takes into the HTML CSS and the JavaScript API now I'll show you how to create a simple button in JavaScript using a basic function. So we're going to do something called an alert. I may have done that in the previous section, but I'm going to show you how to alert something on the screen. So with my script tags, I'm going to create a function. Within the function, there's parentheses. brackets and within the brackets we have a function we have a, we have our code so this is the function within the function all the code is inside this to execute so basically the word to do okay so basically it's within the function everything to do is, is within here okay as you can see Okay, so obviously now we're going to use the word to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to put alert. Okay, fills that in for me. And I want to alert something. I want to alert a string message. So I want to say hello or hey. Okay, I could do that with 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 this simple function. Now, in order to run a function, we are going to need to do something. Okay, I'm going to show you how to run a function pretty easily okay so let's put let, let let's see if this works I'm gonna put to the bottom of this I'm gonna put the function pop let's put the function we're gonna have to name it something so pop okay we never named the function so now that we name the function let's see if this works pop in order to run the function you simply need to just write it down Right. I'm gonna see if this works. I don't know, but it should. So it pops up. Hey, that's the first thing. Okay. Now what I want to do is I'm gonna show you how you can use running a function with a button. Okay. I'm gonna run a function with a button. Real simple. So I'm gonna probably come out of this. I don't know how it's gonna look, but excuse me. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to, to explain. So the next step we're gonna do, really simple. I'm gonna put in some HTML code. Okay. And I wanna do something like a form. All right, I wanna do a form. Within this form is going to have the input, right? The type of the input would be a button. If you knew HTML and CSS, you would know that in order to create a button, you're going to need to form an input type, right? The value of the button is going to have the word click and we're going to have one more thing on this button. We're going to have something called on click. Now, guys, in order for you to, the word on click allows you to run the function, right? It's a special thing that allows you to run the function. So, with on click, I'm going to have the function in it. And the function name is pop. P O P. Okay? So, with that, I'm thinking this should work. 
So I'm gonna just change this to F O R M form F O R M F O. All right, make sure your form tags are running. Form input type button value click on click pop. And I'm gonna end this input because I have to end the input. Okay, once this is ended, you're gonna see how clean it looks. So form the input is correct, everything script. Within my script tags now, I'm gonna have this. I have the simple function pop, and within that function, these these brackets has one thing that I'm gonna do, which is hey. So I'm gonna try and see if I can save this, okay? And I'm gonna see if I could probably run it in the DOM. I don't know. Let me see if this is clicking. Okay, so they have the button. Hey, look, hey. This is the first set of JavaScript you guys are going to need to know. Okay, so thank you for uh, signing up. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you don't understand anything, you can message me in the comments below, and I will guide you through with the JavaScript. Again, quickly, the input, the type is button, value click, the on click, which is the pop, the function is supposed to be run. As I said before, you could use, you could run the function outside the JavaScript code. Right? I'm going to explain that in a little bit depth in the future, right? future episode. But for now, use your script, run the function pop, right? alert, which is the thing to run, hey. So like, comment, and subscribe.